Hello, hello, welcome to my floor. I know normally we're in the kitchen. I mean, we're gonna end up in the kitchen, but not yet. Welcome, as always, to today's video. Today, we are going to be exploring the world of TikTok viral hacks. Or I guess viral TikTok hacks. That sounds better. <laughs> now, typically on this channel, we test out like food related hacks. Don't worry, I do, I do have some. But I found so many recently outside of the scope of food or beauty, which I do on my other channel, that I really wanted to do a whole video testing them all out because they look so interesting. And I feel like together we need to investigate if these actually work or not. And we are starting today in my bedroom slash also office, which I will get to in a second, because today's video is sponsored by Brooklinen, which is a high quality bed sheets company. I don't know if you know this. Bed sheets are expensive. And so Brooklinen created these beautiful home essentials that are done at a much more affordable price point. Use the link in the info bar below and get 15% off your entire Brooklinen purchase, but only through the link down below. So go and check that out. And these sheets are so ridiculously highly rated. I don't think I've ever come across a product with so many high reviews. Like this has over 50,000 five star reviews. And we're gonna get to more on the sheets in a minute because it's all part of this like plan I wanna do with like redoing our bedroom a little bit. But first we're gonna go on to hack number one, which is probably one of the most popular ones that I've seen for a bedroom and that is like refreshing the mattress. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you my mattress now. Here we go everyone, ta-da, mattress. I don't think I have ever cleaned my mattress. Now I do have like a mattress pad protector on there, which I assume would, you know, kind of keep the mattress looking and feeling as fresh as possible. But I really wanted to test out this hack and just see if it works. And basically all you need to do is combine baking soda with your favorite like essential oils, like lavender or something like that, and then douse the mattress with it and then you vacuum it up and you've like cleaned and deodorized and all that fun stuff so I'm very curious about the scent and seeing how strong it is like what's left behind on the mattress how does it feel how easy it is and I know a lot of it is going to be things that I can't see like I, I'm not gonna see the destroying of bacteria that is living on my mattress but I do want to test it because I don't want everyone you know ruining their vacuums or having to sleep on excessively scented mattresses so let us go and make ourselves a nice uh, baking soda concoction so we're gonna start with the baking soda just like apparently just dump a ton in get a ton in there you gotta have a lot to you know deodorize it properly I guess that feels good now I have some lavender essential oil lavender is supposed to be really good for sleep so I'm very excited because I don't typically sleep that well so you need like 10 to 20 drops All right, that feels good. <laughs> then we need to mix it together, which I didn't think through because it's in a bowl. So uh, give me a minute. All right, let's put this stuff on. This feels like something that my five-year-old would find really entertaining. Ta-da! So now I'm going to kind of smoosh this in a little bit and then let it sit here for at least an hour. All right, it has been about an hour and a half. Okay, probably closer to two hours. And it smells like lavender in here. Like a whole lavender field. So now uh, let's vacuum this all up, I guess. Also, a quick note, apparently don't use like a Dyson vacuum if you have one. Apparently it just like ruins the entire thing. So use one of those like old school plug-in vacuums for this. Among the weirder things that I have done on YouTube. Okay, so here's a fun thing that I'm discovering. I don't know if this old girl is just, she's too old, I don't know, but it's not picking up the baking soda as, uh, as easily as I expected. It's baking soda. So this is fun. You can see at sort of the edge of the, um, the bed, you can see in these little pockets here, it's not picking up on that. And again, it just might be that my, my vacuum is super, super old. I have a Dyson too, I just don't want to ruin it. So I'm going to keep going over it until it's all gone and just kind of see what we're left with. Okay, I think I got it all up. Uh, so far, I mean, this, <laughs> the smell of lavender has not left this room. I'm gonna move the vacuum and give it a minute to kind of dissipate and just see if it's still very overwhelming, which I would hope not, but I guess we'll find out. But overall, everything that I've been reading online basically says if you don't use like just a very old vacuum, do not try this hack because the baking soda will ruin any of your newer vacuums. So just a heads up, there's probably a better and easier way to clean your mattress and this probably isn't one of them. So now let's grab our beautiful sheets and I want to share with you guys a little like project that Chris and I are working on for our room because it's all 
also my office space and I've been doing like my makeup videos and everything for so long and this was just the best space for like my filming setup and all of my makeup and everything like that and I just I wanted to refresh this space a little. It felt very gray and I wanted to kind of modernize it and make it a little bit more warmer and like a luxe hotel kind of vibe. And honestly, I'm just really tired of like the wall to wall white. So we're still in the process of getting everything, but I will keep you guys updated on Instagram of like the before and the afters and like maybe the process and of going into it. I might even try some DIYs, but like as an example, I want to show you guys these two pieces here I think are just too heavy especially with how heavy the headboard is so we're gonna be like moving all of this and it's really gonna open up the space maybe do like a much lighter um, nightstand there do more warm tone curtains like I think it's gonna look really good and I'm so excited so I'm gonna share with you guys what we've been doing with that but let's get the beautiful Brooklyn and sheets now because really the sheets are like the first step out of gray and white okay ready and sheets look at that so here are the sheets that we chose right here i have the white with the beige because you can mix and match they have like 25 different colors and patterns to choose from but i chose the classic hardcore bundle and i really wanted the classic because it's perfect for hot sleepers which i like i'm boiling water hot at that time. every single night just, i don't want sheets on me like i want to sleep in a bed of ice so these are perfect for that because they do deliver that nice like cooling sensation not cold but like nice cooling you know i'm personally a big fan of the subtle difference between the beige and the white and it just I'm so excited for this whole space to come together and I want it to feel like a bedroom, a place where you can kind of escape and just relax. So much of the time it's a space where I'm filming and getting like my makeup stuff done and so I'm excited to like start on the whole journey of redoing this space and just make it a relaxing kind of sanctuary. So if you like home decor stuff, make sure you follow on Instagram and we'll like continue on this. But I'm excited, like this is the first step for these sheets. <laughs> They're so comfortable. I want to sleep right now. No, I have to get up. We still have more hacks to do. All right, so now we are in the kitchen and we are testing out a hack that I'm very excited about. And that is using a foam soap dispenser to make cold foam. And I don't know if you know this, but I happen to love coffee. And during the summer, that's like basically all I drink. I love a good cold brew. And so initially I tried to do it with the existing soap dispensers that we have emptied it out and tried to clean it. And let me tell you something, you can't ever get the soap and foam out of a previously used soap dispenser. I'm just gonna let you know. So I had to go out and I had to get a new <laughs> soap dispenser because I am determined and I want this to work so badly. And so we are gonna make a cold brew with some fancy cold foam on top. Let's set it up here. <laughs> Soap dispenser. I'm gonna start with 2% milk and see if that works. Okay, let's see. Apparently I need more milk in here. Oh my gosh, it's kind of working. Oh my goodness, you guys need to see this. Like you need a lot, like a lot, a lot in order to get the effect you're looking for. So you're gonna be doing this for a while, but like it does work. However, the one thing I'm noticing is that it dissipates very quickly versus doing an actual foamed milk. So it looks cute for like a good solid minute and then it starts to kind of fade away because it's mostly air. So I guess technically this works. It's just like, is it worth the effort? Mm. But nevertheless, I did end up with a nice coffee, so. Next up, we're gonna be testing out something on my desk here, which is the use of museum gel. This is supposed to help adhere anything that's breakable or fall overable and make it so it doesn't budge. And so I figured I would try it on these beautiful hydrangeas from my mom's garden, which by the way, I have another hack for this, unrelated. I happen to love hydrangeas, but anytime I try and make a, like a bouquet of them, they always die. So I've learned some hacks to keep them alive. And I'm telling you, as someone who kills all plants, except for this one, my golden child. These work so well. Trim the ends off on an angle, run them under really hot water, and then put sugar in the water, in the vase, and peel off all of the leaves. And I'm telling you, they will last forever. It's beautiful. But anyway, that's not the hack. <laughs> what the? Oh, I see, you're sealed. Ooh. This is a fun texture. What? Oh my gosh. So apparently you need a very small amount and then you put it at the bottom 
of your vase or whatever you're using it for and it shouldn't move. So I figured I would try it on these and see if the gloss moves at all. Now the only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is how the gel reacts on different surfaces, whether on your countertops or on hardwood or anything like that. So I would test a small area because I don't know that. Or if you know, please leave a comment down below. Let us know and I will heart the ones that do know so that people can find them because I am genuinely curious if they shouldn't be applied to certain materials and things like that, which is why I'm doing it on the books. Now let's move this around and see if the glass is shaking and toppling. Oh, hmm, nope, that's, uh, that's not sticking at all. I must be doing something wrong, hang on. All right, so after reading the very lengthy instructions, I've added four different pieces to the bottom of the glass instead. And it's supposed to take about 30 to 60 seconds to like adhere properly. Let's try that instead. All right, it has been about a minute and a half, so let's see. Oh, can you see my book? It's like moving on the, oh no, I pulled too hard on it. Uh, okay, well this doesn't seem to be adhering as well as I had sort of expected, but at the same time, going like this, you can see it's, it's not moving at all, unlike my <laughs> lovely candle there. Like this, if my, kids accidentally move this book, it's not gonna go toppling. I don't know how much I would trust it on very, you know, fragile and expensive items, but on this little glass, I mean, it is it is not moving. Hold on it, it would probably come off, but it does say it could take up to overnight to set, but uh, so far so good. Oh my gosh, I have stuff everywhere. Ugh. The next hack has to do with filling a garbage can with the bag. So typically what you would do, what I would do, is that you take it and you open it up and you try and stuff it in and stuff it around the outside. But TikTok says no. Apparently garbage bags are meant to be inside out and stuffed in this way. Open it, you put it over like this, and then hi -ya, like that. And apparently this way, the bag is going to stick around the outside a lot easier and then there isn't as much like air in the inside and you're not like stretching it to kind of fit it into the garbage can. I have tried this on the ones that I have downstairs that are a little bit larger. I don't really notice any sort of a difference. That, I mean, did you guys notice a difference? I didn't really notice anything. I don't know. I would say fill your garbage can with liners however you best see fit. This one didn't really impress me that much. Okay, now let's go back downstairs. I don't know why I was downstairs, went upstairs, and now I'm going downstairs again because I want to show you two hacks I have tried from TikTok that are really awesome. Okay, so the first one has to do with, okay, you know these like little ties for your bread and various things? Well, if you lose yours, like I do, I just, you twist it, twist the bag, and then you fold it over. Boom. You don't even need these, threw it away. And then the other one is for the dishwasher. If you put a towel like half into the dishwasher, once it's like obviously once it's done, it uh, soaks up a lot of the excess water that sometimes will sit on your dishes. And it just like, I love this one. This one works really well too. So of all of these hacks, which one was your favorite? Leave me a comment down below. I would love to know what you guys like or what hacks that I'm missing that are just like the best hacks that you have ever come across. Let me know in the comments section. Big thanks again to Brooklyn and for sponsoring today's video. Use the link in the info bar below to get 15% off your Brooklyn and purchase. Make sure you check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any. Thank you so much guys for watching. I really appreciate and love you so much. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.